Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new series, Skies Beast 2. Yes, it's a sequel of Skies Beast 1, and uh, yes, well, it's a mod pack uh, where we are going to start building on the sky, or uh, sky block, uh, that is what we are doing, guys. So stay put for that one. Now, the uh, what we're doing in here, of course, is going to be a very simple, um, uh, a slow, very slow, chill, uh, as you can see, the tree size already grown, my goodness. Uh, we are going to do a very uh, a slow and chill uh, series in here. So we are going to play this very slowly, guys. So if you are following along, well, we can actually do this thing together because this is going to be huge. So first things first, here we are. We have a selection of books in here that we can actually look at it. But in addition to that, of course, we have the quest tree here, the quest line. Now, the quest one, the first one asks us for 32 oak logs. And as you can see, we have one log in this end of the platform and one in here as well. And with that, my friends, uh, well, we need to chop the logs down. Before doing that, though, I would uh, strongly suggest uh, to uh, get all the leaves uh, first. And that's a good reason for that. And that is because if you chop the tree, some of the saplings and fruits and things will fall yeah, down there over the platform, and you definitely don't want that to happen. So uh, you get as well a uh, guaranteed um, saplings, and I mean guaranteed in the platform, because otherwise they will fall down there, so there you have it. So with that, my friends, well, I think it's time to get going with this, don't you? Let's get all these 32 locks that we are going to need very quickly, and as you can see, very carefully, though, we are going to have to be very careful not to actually uh, fall uh, well, out of the platform. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's the idea, guys, that we don't fall. So we are going to have to make sure that we do something in here to, uh, well, to uh, enhance and certainly make this uh, platform a big pickup. And to do that, uh, well, uh, well, it is what it is. You know what the deal is. So with that in mind, I think uh, we are going to place some things in here so we actually have uh, more room to move around. Now we have one tree. Now by shift clicking continuously, uh, this thing will go a uh, way quicker. You can see all these particles coming up and there you have it. In addition to that, you can actually sprint as well. Should you want to do that? Oh my goodness. Uh, something else uh, I want to uh, mention. It's the collector crystal. I will explain that maybe in the next episode, see how we get on. My goodness, lots of things are happening here. And with that, well, once again, we are going to get all the leaves and then we are going to gather all these things as well. And we are going to need 32 of these guys. So there you have it. Uh, it's not going to be easy. How many we got? 13 so far. So uh, we are going to need, uh, well, uh, these trees to, to grow a lot. So uh, you can actually... Um, if clicked uh, here, as you can see here, so the tree actually can grow. Well, in addition to that, you can actually uh, uh, run up and down, and that seems to uh, work very well as well. So there you have it. Uh, well, let's carry on until we grab the whole amount. Okay, guys, as you can see, we already have the 32 logs, but uh, you know what? I'm going to actually grab this one very quickly, and so is the other one as well. We are going to plant a couple more trees there, so we can actually uh, have... Yeah, something uh, ready there to uh, grow. Be careful, very careful not to fall from the platform. My goodness, what is going to happen if we fall from the platform? Something else, and like when you do this shift uh, trick uh, thingy, well, your hunger is going to go down rapidly. So we are going to need some food at some point as well. So let me grab this ones very quickly as well. So we have over the 32 because we are going to need more things, of course. Oh my goodness, super excited about this area. So please like, comment, and subscribe should you watch it. My goodness, my goodness, guys, what we are signing off for. My goodness. And as you can see, now we have, uh, uh, well, more than uh, 42 in actual fact. So uh, with that in mind, uh, we have plenty of sticks as well. We have plenty of oak saplings. Look at this. And one thing that I'm going to make uh, very quickly is going to be uh, in actual fact, you know what I'm going to do. Okay, there you have it. We're going to need uh, uh, six patterns in here because with the patterns, we are going to be able to make, well, a few things. So uh, with that in, in mind, uh, we are going to uh, check very quickly how we are doing with the quest. The next one is going to be 64 oak planks, which is going to be very, very easy, of course. Uh, let's grab, uh, you know what? Uh, let me grab those in there very quickly. And now we have, uh, well, plenty, plenty of um, planks as well, which we are definitely going to need. And as you can see, well, now we have the oak planks. We have the pattern done as well. And the next thing that I think that we are going to do is a composter and certainly a chest. So, uh, but before doing that, of course, we are going to use the Tinker's uh, mod because it's uh, in here. And uh, you know what? We are going to need some more trees as well at some point. So may as well get them going as well very quickly. Uh, let's get to the Tinker's uh, mod, shall we? Okay, now we have the patterns as well. The only thing that you need to do is place a, a look underneath and we get this a crafting station. And that's good, or oh, definitely is a better than a normal crafting station because once you place it down, if I can actually place it somewhere, maybe down here somewhere, 
you can actually leave uh, things on net and that way you can actually uh, free up one of the spaces so for example if i place that in there and leave it there as i go it stays in there so freeze completely uh, one slot on your pack so that you have it that's a nice tip that can give you at this point and as we are on it, uh, well, I think that we are going to need certainly a couple of chairs. So let's grab a couple of those as well. As you can see, all these uh, things are happening very quickly. Uh, well, I, I, I make two of those and I don't know if we are going to make two, but you know what? Uh, why not? So now we have a couple of those. I'm going to uh, try to grab very quickly as well uh, this string here because we are going to need those uh, logs, uh, whatever happens. So as you can see, we grab in the next one as well. We have plenty of, uh, oh my goodness, we have 22 already. I think, I think that that's enough for a second. So uh, what's going to be next? Well, uh, we can actually do a few more things. And uh, uh, one of those is going to use uh, the Tinkers. My goodness, look at the hangar as well. That's why we are going to have to be very, very careful in here, guys. Okay, guys, with that, I think it's time to make a Tinkers uh, station. Uh, let me see if I can actually get one. And that's going to be the Oak Plango one, as you can see. And we can make one straight away. So that's going to be the Tinkers station in there. And you know what? Let me swap that one for that one. We are going to need it. And uh, certainly, we are going to need a part uh, station as well, which is going to be a very important one to have my goodness i'm so looking forward of course to start working with the bees because that is what is all about my friends so something else i want to do very quickly is to make sure that we are safe uh, to work around here because as you can see well it doesn't look too too safe to do this very quickly so let's do this very quickly and uh you know if you know my channel my friends i'm not very good at doing this type of thing guys so uh you know hopefully we are going to to last long enough to actually survive these things but yeah it can be a bit tricky especially for me i don't know maybe it's the age what can i say guys maybe i'm getting too old to do these things but uh, nevertheless now we have a few uh, things this um a few um planks around we can actually move a bit well a bit more freedom i think so what i want to do at this point is get that torch because we are going to need at some point and the next thing of course is going to be to place the uh, tinker station and uh, i'm going to get the part builder maybe that uh, that should do and one thing that these have and uh, which is very handy very nifty is that if you put them press them together you can actually access both from the same uh, uh, side so with that in mind well let's carry on a bit more okay guys so the next uh, thing that we are going to do is to use the part uh, builder to do that we are going to use a pattern as you can see we are going to uh, have as well some oak planks and the idea here is to make well uh, we are going to make an axe and that's going to be a uh, really important to do that we are going to need a small axe head, a handle, and a binding. So that is what we are going to do. And to do that, well, we are going to go back to the part builder. We are going to need an axe head. If I can actually find it, a small axe head. And there you have it. We have it right there. We are going to need as well, what was it that we needed? A handle and a binding. So let's do that. It's going to be a, a tool handle. I think that is the one that we need. And a, a tool binding. Uh, there you have it. It's going to be all three and with that my friends as you can see we have the wooden tandle uh the wooden tool handle i would say we have the wooden small axe head at the top like in that diagonal thing and then we are going to have the tool binding right on the right and with that my friends we now got a, a wooden hand axe which is going to be very very useful indeed okay so now we have the wooden uh, hand axe uh, i'm going to show you how this works very quickly because uh, you have an advantage of doing this thing so let me just make sure that this uh, a tree goes up as you can see we have both of them already so uh, we are going to chop it with the axe which is much much quick as you can see now the thing is that you will see that uh, that specific uh, axe have durability as you can see oh my goodness it's, it's, it's completely gone and that is really what i wanted so if we go now to the uh, thinkers uh, station right click on it we are going to place the uh, thinker uh, the the axe i'm sorry in there and then we are going to actually uh, place a, a o'clock uh, we are going to actually get the durability up to a uh, scratch again 60 out of 60. so as long as you use the uh, same material that you build the tool uh, from you can actually uh, well there you have it uh, have a completely new and as long as you have uh, plenty of uh, o'clocks in this case you will be able to actually uh, get all your ability back on your axe my goodness guys my goodness so uh, night time is coming we need to make a bet at some point don't you guys okay guys so looking back at the quest line uh, we have a couple of options we can either go up there and get a campfire which uh, is going to be really needed we probably will do it in a second but i think that the best option is to go down here and get the composter and then we are going to get some bone meal going certainly we are going to need a floral fertilizer because with a floral fertilizer we are going to be able to get a blue dye which in turn as you can see we are going to be able to make a linking tool now these linking tools are really really useful not to show what that thing is doing up here but they you have it let me grab it very quickly before it goes somewhere there you have it 
And it's very uh, useful, uh, that linking tool, because we are going to be able to use the Collector Crystal from Astral Sorcery. And what this is going to do is convert certain type of blocks to, uh, well, a, a, a total different type of block. So we will be looking into that in a second as well. My goodness, things are happening so, so quickly. That time, my goodness, that went very, very, very fast indeed. Okay, so uh, you know what? I'm going to get those trees going once again. And this is pretty much what you need to do as well. So you need to get all these uh, trees going, get the resources that you need, make sure that you have enough space in uh, the uh, platform as well. That's really important. Uh, should you want to do that, of course. And uh, yeah, incredibly, incredibly important that you do that because uh, otherwise you are going to run out of space. And as you build more things, you're going to need more space, clearly. So uh, once again, I'm going to try to uh, get going a bit with this uh, thing just to create a bit more space for me to move around because as I said, I can be a bit useless for this thing. So there you have it. Uh, now we have a tiny bit more space to move. And you know what? Actually, I think I can actually place in this side as well to create a bit more room. There you have it. And uh, with that, uh, hopefully, we are going to be a bit safer, my friends, because this is going to grow big time, my friends. It's just, you can see it's starting just to take a bit more shape. Okay, guys, so back to the uh, crafting station, of course. Uh, we are going to have to make some, uh, well, different things. In one of those that we are going to need is going to be some of these planks, because with the planks, we are going to be able to make, a, hopefully, a, a compost, as you can see. This is going to be critical uh, to actually uh, go further into the game. So let me grab my uh, uh, ogre slabs back. Uh, we have a chest available as well, so we can start putting things in there that we are not going to really use. I'm going to put the slabs there for a second as well. Uh, bring those things should we need them for a minute. My goodness, things are happening very, very quickly. And as you can see, my friends, well, things are happening. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be interested in carrying with this series. My goodness. And yes, we have a new skin, by the way, in case that you haven't noticed it, that you have it. Okay, guys, now we have the compost out. Well, it's time to place it down. And what I would suggest as well at this point is to actually ensure that uh, you have plenty of space be between the uh, composter and the abyss because uh, these things uh, will actually spew all the things out very quickly and everything can actually go all over the place. So very important that you ensure that you have plenty of room for things to actually uh, be safe and don't fall into the abyss, as I said, because this is the way it goes. My goodness, now we have this thing here. So what else we are going to need? Well, we're going to need a couple more things, actually. And the next one is going to be this uh, camera thing. We are going to need that. We are going to need a small blade, a handle, and a binding. So we have the uh, uh, binding in here. We are going to need the uh, head as well, I think, that is going to be. Although, uh, let me go back quickly, and there's going to be... Oh, a small blade. Okay, there you have it. So we're going to need a small blade. Uh, there you have it. We can actually grab this one as well. And we're going to need a tool handle as well. And with that, we are going to be able to create this uh, camera thing, which is pretty much like a hoe. It's going to actually help us to harvest um, uh, different types of seeds, all the good stuff that we are going to need to use on the harvester, my friends. And as you can see, now we have a wooden uh, camera as well. My goodness, things are happening very, very quickly. By the way, I think as a station, the best, the best mode I ever seen. It's just so good. It really is so lovely. Okay, so uh, now we are going to have to do a few things in here to start gathering stuff to uh, use on the composter. Of course, you could actually use oak saplings, but I don't think it's worth it at this point to use them. And uh, what we're going to need, obviously, is going to be bone meal. So really important that, uh, yeah, I mean, we get uh, the things that we need. And as you can see, we have very little grass blocks as well. So we are going to have to work in getting some grass as well. So let me check very quickly how we're doing with the question. As you can see, we got the composter. Now we are going to need the bone meal. And the bone meal, well, you can obviously get the bone. We are going to get bone blocks using this uh, artifact up here, the uh, Collector Crystal. And I want to show you how to do that, hopefully in this episode, all the way on the next one. As I said, it's going to be a very slow uh, playthrough, so you can follow along should you want to. Very, very beautiful little mod. So I'm hoping that you enjoy this, guys. Okay, so now we have the uh, wooden kama. It's going to be really important because we can actually gather now the leaves. And as you can see, now we have 55 leaves. Look at that. And with that, now we can actually use it into the composter to make a, well, bone meal, as you can see. Well, there you have it. Now we have some bone meal as well. Thank you very much. And uh, wooden camera, look and see the, the uh, durability, how quick it went. My goodness, it went so, so quickly. Uh, something else that you can do with the oak leaves, of course. Well, you can do different things in there. Now, as you can see, now we have the quest completed as well. My goodness, uh, with that, you can actually make a string. And as you can see, well, we're going to make a few strings in there. I'm going to gather all of it and we are going to repair very quickly the uh, camera as well. 
Okay, so we have the gamma in there. We're going to place the logs in there. Now we have a brand new gamma. Thank you very much. That's the way we rock. Yes, yes, that's the way we do it. Let me grab uh, those leaves as well. It's going to be very, very important. Uh, and now that we have uh, all these um, strings as well, you can actually get, of course, uh, oh, we are going to need a bit more of those, I think. Oh, just the one. Okay, so let's do that very quickly. And uh, then what we're going to be able to do uh, straight away, guys, is uh, let me just grab a few of those. I think it's going to be very important that we do that. But as you can see now, we can actually get another piece of wool. And with the wool, of course, what can we make? Well, it's going to be obviously a bed. And with the bed, well, we're going to use it to pass the nights. Simple as that. My goodness, things are happening so quickly. I hope, guys, this makes sense to you. What can I say? <laughs> I really hope it does. My goodness. And uh, where are we going to put my bed? That, that's the next question. Okay, let's go put it in there. So we have a bed ready to uh, pass the night as well. Of course, we have the chairs as well. We need to keep an eye on these things as well. And as uh, you can see, look at this. Uh, plenty, plenty of things as well. So with the leaves, as I said, we can actually carry on getting some more bone meal, which we are definitely going to need. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And of course, we are going to, we are going to find a more effective way of doing this. Uh, I'm hoping anyway. Uh, get me that bone meal. Thank you very much. And uh, as you can see, the leaves are going very, very quickly. And the gamma is nearly broken once again. So uh, we need to go back to the uh, uh, station again. My goodness. My goodness, guys. And as long as we have some locks, well, we can have a brand new gamma. But you can see how quickly everything is going. Of course, we have the uh, trees as well. So remember, guys, that you need to um, uh, get those locks going. And I would suggest that for the time being, you just keep uh, planting some trees because, uh, you know, that's something that you don't want to do is to run out of wood. Although we have now plenty, plenty of saplings. That's not going to be an issue. I think it's worth it just to uh, keep them there ready to go. We have uh, food as well, some apples, which is going to be very important. My goodness, but you can see very little uh, oak loss. We have already three bone meal. I think that we are winning in this one, guys. Okay, guys, so looking at the quest uh, line, uh, we have two options. We can actually go and get some wheat seeds, which we are going to do in a second. But I think it's more important to get to the floral fertilizer. This is what's going to actually give us uh, all the things that we need. Now, uh, to uh, get to the floral fertilizer, and as you can see, we are going to need uh, five uh, bone mills because effectively we are going to convert four of those into white dye to create the floral fertilizer. So uh, that's what we're going to need. And with that, my friends, what well, that means that we need that we need these uh, trees going up as well. By the way, you can actually shift, uh, click uh, constantly until the trees grows, or you can actually run up and down. That should work the same. But uh, well, I prefer to uh, do it that way. That is my style, guys. I don't like running in very small spaces where I don't feel very confident. Thank you very much. Oh my God, that, this is, this one is quite actually. Uh, all in here my goodness can i reach this one in here i don't think i can reach it from here okay well it is what it is you know what let's grab the whole thing down and hopefully oh yeah it's completely broken as you can see so we are going to have to fix that very quickly and this is what this is so cool because uh, it, it really is, is is you need to keep an eye on everything as you can see well it's not working because it's broken so uh once I, <laughs> once again we need that oh no we are going on the wrong place we need to go to the Tinker thing here. Tinker station is ready. We are going to get those as well. And as you can see, now we have the whole thing here that we can actually use. My goodness, uh, things are happening so quickly. So uh, once again, I need to get that one going because we need plenty, plenty of leaves to get some more bone meal. So that's what we're going to do. I'll catch with you in a second. Okay, guys, now we have four, uh, six bone meal. I think it's time to convert uh, four of those into a uh, white uh, dye, as you can see. And with that, we are going to have to go to the uh, crafting station and convert it to, of course, to the uh, florals, whatever that may be. Let me check it very quickly and make sure that we are doing the right thing. Floral fertilizer, as you can see. Okay, well, uh, that's what we're going to do. And uh, we are going to get uh, those in that shape and get that one in there. And really, doesn't matter where you put them, as you can see, it's going to do it. So, uh, you know, just take it easy, guys, what I can say, because this can be a bit yeah, incredibly uh, uh, demanding for a second. So uh, one thing I want to do as well is create a bit more just for a second. Maybe uh, another two that would be great in case that we need some more of these floral uh, thingies. And there you have it. Now we have three uh, uh, bone meals. My goodness, things happening quickly. Let me make sure that everything is safe. We have 49 oak saplings already. My goodness. And with that, you know what? I'm going to keep an eye on these things and I'm going to plant it in there. I'm going to plant it in there. And, uh, you know, we are going to need those leaves for a second. So that is what I'm trying to do in here. Uh, okay, you are going to go up as well, my friend. So um, hopefully we are going to be able to expand this platform very quickly in a second as well. Because I'm starting to think, my goodness, this is getting very, very, very narrow. 
So uh, I think it's time to do that, don't you guys? What do you think? I'm going to get a half of those. Look at the amount now that we have in here. Incredible. So let's do that. Okay, guys, you can see, well, we uh, uh, yeah, we make this thing a bit bigger. It's really, really important that we have enough space because one thing that can happen when you play this game is that you forget completely that you are in a platform. And that's important that, you know, keep that on the back of you, my, my goodness. Okay, so what are we doing with the quest? Well, we don't quite a lot, actually. Look at this. We done all this so far. We need to get into the campfire in a second as well, which I think is not going to be that difficult. In actual fact, we can actually make a campfire very quickly. And we are going to do that through the uh, crafting st station. And you know what? I may as well just grab that one very quickly. There you have it. Uh, and that's going to be very important because with this one, we can make actually a different thing. So let me show you very quickly what I mean with that. And once we get that fire, uh, campfire, we can actually make bricks. With the bricks, we can actually make cast iron to create well different things. But in addition to that, we can actually create glass paint to make lots of different type of jars where we can actually make some water. All the good stuff that we will look into uh, the next episode, guys. And... Of course, we are going to get Solis Nest and the first Beehive. My goodness, remember, this is a Sky Bees too. So uh, Beehives are going to be a big, big part on these things. In addition to that, of course, we are going to have to get the linking tool. But before doing that, we're going to need some blue dice. So that, my friends, is what is going to happen next. Okay, guys, so the next thing is to be aware. Well, we are going to have to place this fire down somewhere. And this is going to actually uh, help us to uh, smelt our chest set. And let me just uh, repeat it again. Uh, these uh, bricks uh, uh, moving forward and so is the glass panes as well just to uh, carry on moving forward to create water even dart we can actually create with that but before doing that uh, well we are going to need the linking tool and hence why it's so important to have the floral fertilizer because with that hopefully we can actually get blue dye and that's going to be important so how do we get that dye well we are going to get the floral fertilizer and we are going to be able to use it let me just take this tree out of here very quickly and you know what now that i'm here as well let me grab all these leaves so we can actually have some more and then we are going to get this out of the way as you can see and then what we're going to do is get the uh, floral fertilizer and we are going to get some uh, flowers from botania and going as you can see uh, some of these flowers will grow as you can see uh, by shifting and you do with the tree as well because they are two blocks and uh, flowers and with that uh, if you get in the wooden camera you will be able to get more resources that if you just do it with your hands so very important that you use that in time to time as well oh my goodness and as you can see the durability is just so low that is you are going to have to constantly keep at it a big time so uh, let me grab all of them and as you can see now we have plenty plenty of flowers as well and with that uh, you can actually see that we're putting on the crafting um, uh, grid you can actually get uh, well quite a lot of um, 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 uh, petals in here and that's important because it's going to help you along the way now if we look at a uh, pestle and mortar i think is going to be look at that a uh, pestle and mortar we're going to need a, a, a ball in here so we can do that very quickly let's go to the crafting station if i can there you have it and now we're going to be able to make these things very quickly we're going to get four of those well that is fine as well and with that we are going to be able to make a puzzle and more than once you get those now you can actually get uh, the uh, mystical uh, uh, petals whichever you have and with that you can actually create well that die as well which is pretty impressive of course we are going to have to carry on doing this until we get a blue die that is what we need at this point as you can see we have another one in here which is going to give us what uh, yeah it's going to be white so that's not going to help us very much but you know what well, nevertheless we are going to get it because now we are going to have well, uh, more white diet as well. There you have it. Okay, so uh, what I suggest at this point is that to carry on trying to uh, get more of this uh, floral fertilizer and try until you get a blue flower. Once you get a blue flower, well, what we are going to then do is to create the blue dye and with that, the linking tool. My goodness, it's going to be very, very interesting. But that, my friends, is not going to happen until next episode. So there you have it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next daily upload, guys. Until then, take great care.